Yo, what up? Cruiser here, and I'm about to give you my impressions on Dauntless and explain why I'm going to be playing it a lot more. So when Dauntless first got announced, I was incredibly hyped, so excited to have that monster-like experience on PC. I was so hyped, in fact, I bought into the Founders Edition. At that time though, little did I know that Monster Hunter World was about to be announced for consoles and PC. And honestly, I feel like that announcement put a huge damper on the hype Dauntless had. Understandably so, it's a complete franchise with a huge following. That being said, I tried out Dauntless when it was in early access. Understandably so, it was missing on a bit of content. There was a lot of skins that weren't implemented into the game, a lot of weapons that kind of all looked the same, and a lot of monsters that were just a little too similar to each other. Well, I decided to give it a download again today, and I'm more than happy to say that this game is looking great, and it looks like it's got a bright future ahead of itself. The first thing I noticed is how much more polished this game is. There's now voice acting, there's proper text and quest lines, you got new gear, new monsters, new weapons, and there's been so many positive improvements on the experience, I'm happy to say that I'm gonna be playing this a hell of a lot more going forward. So let me give you a couple of reasons why you should actually play this game. Number one, it's free. Number two, it's not pay to win. And I think that stands out a lot amongst new free to play games. There's always some weird way that you can buy yourself to a better character. Here, nah, the mechanics still are first, and if you can't get used to the mechanics, you gotta practice, that's it. You can't pay to dodge abilities, you can't pay to dodge attacks, and speaking of dodging, man does it feel good to evade those attacks. The gameplay is smooth and solid now. I'm seeing a lot less bugs, a lot less glitches, that's good to see, and it's awesome. Then I gotta bring up all the new quality of life improvements that this game has received. The new UI is clear and concise, it's no longer a struggle to get where you want to get, and the new damage numbers on impact really make you feel like you're dealing damage to this monster. Speaking of monsters, the new variety seems a lot better man, these monsters are scary. The endgame looks tough and I can't wait to work my way up there. And just before ending this video, I really want to mention the developers of Dauntless. Phoenix Labs has shown to me that they care and love not only their community, but their game. Before I downloaded this game, I decided to look up videos about it and check out the Reddit, see how it's doing, see where the game stands. And the one thing that really showed to me that these guys care is that I've yet to see any developer as engaged with their community as the Dauntless Phoenix Lab Studio has been. And I believe that deserves recognition. So if any of you guys are happening to watch this video, awesome job you guys are doing and I'm glad to be a part of your community. I'm looking forward to the crossplay coming in the future. If you guys don't know, it's getting crossplay between PS4, Xbox, PC, and later on, Switch and mobile. I can't wait to see this community flourish more, and I wish you guys the best of luck. Alright, that'll be all for this video. Appreciate you guys watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoy it, because you can expect to see more Dauntless coverage tips and guides coming soon. Peace.